Ladies and gents, uh, one of the things we're running into is a lot of people are questioning. Um, one of the things we do as part of our warm ups, we do this thing called 30, 20, and 30. How it came into existence uh, back in the day when I first came to CrossFit. I, uh, but they were doing this warm up with pass throughs and squats and overhead squats. Like, I think, how do I get people to move better, generally speaking, on a systematic basis? And I thought, you know what, in most of our warm ups, what we want to do is just accumulate 30 air squats, 20 rollouts, and 30 overhead squats. None of that's really revolutionary. One thing, cool things we've done recently, and this is that last year or two, it's really helped some of our athletes move a lot better. And, and like, sometimes you want to think of, you know, like it's practicing good movement, you know, ad infinitum, is how you end up being a good mover. So what we do is this cool little bands. What these are, <laughs> get these from Perform Better. They're I think they're a buck twenty nine, something like that. Something really cheap. But if you buy one or two of them, you're gonna get about eight bucks for uh, shipping. To buy a bunch of them, have your friends use them, people you don't like, it's pretty cool. So what this does is it goes kind of around your knees, I think the jury's out of whether it's above the knee or below the knee or at the knee, uh, kind of irrelevant from my perspective. What I want you to do is teach people how to um, drive their knees out in a squat. So, I'm gonna come up and hopefully you guys will be able to see this and put this around my knees. Set. So, a lot of people have lack of position in driving their knees out, or they knee initiate, or they do something else that's kind of quite, quite, not quite right. So, what you'll think about this is that as you drive your hips back and down, your knees are going to also need to go out. A lot of people don't drive their knees out far enough and end up with some, some limited range of motion, some butt weight, and some other stuff. So, what I want to see is Belly's locked down. All the fundamentals you learned at your CrossFit level one all applies to this. Now, the only difference is you're going to have these bands on your knees. So, from here, when I see our warm up, we do 30 air squats. Pretty straightforward. Accumulate 30 of those things, and these are going to drop, drive out. Rollouts, pass throughs. We want to work on some of our mobility. I know my shoulders are kind of jacked up right now, but there it is. And then the last thing is, is they accumulate 30 air squats. Same thing, feet, vertical position, armpits forward, elbow pits up. This is a weenus. Skin behind your elbow is a weenus. Weenus down because if you point it behind you, somebody will be there and will see your weenus. No one wants that. From here, hips back and down. Ooh, hips back and down. Knees out, obviously. Here, hips, knees, hips, and knees, hips, and knees. Very well. So, part of that 30, 20, and 30 is the practice. And what this will do is it'll grease the groove. This will grease the groove when you do your normal, your normal overhead squats. You find that initiation is a lot smoother. So, if you guys have questions, that's where the 30, 20, 30 is when you receive the programming and you know what it is from now on.